Right now, go on, start off. Oh, Keno. Well, how are you? Well, we're good. Keno. Yeah. How long have you been doing TikTok? Um, I've been doing TikTok since the summer of uh, 2020. You know when that Carol Baskin was a trend? Yeah. So I, I made yeah. a video on that, but I never really made videos until I think it was November. And then, and then from there on, in December, I had 1K, then 2K. And then, then my growth from January was where I, I started following at the game. Kept on getting consistent uh, viewers and followers, I guess. Uh, what did you think of the Kildare game? Um, I, 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 I think we came out. We we came out very good. Um, I think we we're oh, in transition. I think, I think Jack O'Connor, a great manager, obviously yeah. did everything with Kerry and all that. But I just think um, Kildare is a perfect. Over the last few years, we all thought all oh, were going going well, but then Keane O'Neill, I, I didn't think he was the best managers, and then um, Jason Ryan and all that. But, over the years, we always had a good youth, youth system, but when it came into the squad, um, they never gelled in. But now, now yeah. like, um, like Highland and Karen at our attack, they're only young, and I think that'll be the heart of our attack for years to come. And they're already showing signs, um, especially Jimmy Highland. I think he's he, he, he has a lot of potential, like, yeah. Then, yeah, like, the leadership of, like, for example, like Owen Dial, yeah. Um, yeah. In, in the back like going down like uh, he didn't really feature much last year but he came in today and then with with Mark Dempsey as well very young so you had that perfect leadership mix of it, uh, experience and lack of experience with, with a mix of young players and like experienced players which is which is a good which is a good to have like yeah, yeah. yeah go on your next question you know who do you want to win the Euros the Euros I would I, 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 as an Irish perspective, I'd obviously want Scotland to, or, or like Wales to do well, but realistically, they're not going to win it out or anything like that. But um, I often, but one of the favorite teams I love to see country wise, I, I love watching Belgium play. And um, I, I always thought that they'd win something with their golden generation. But I think now is the time because nobody talking about them either. So they can just go out and play the brain in the frame of his life. Lukaku will bang can bang in goals. Um I know that they could have Italy in the run up, but um I, I think Italy could be dark horses as well. But um I'm gonna go with Belgium, hopefully. Where do you want Liverpool to come in the Premier League next year? Well, I want them to finish first, but uh, I no, think no. now I I, I, I think it'll be hard. I, I I I can find a hard for Man City not being first. I think they will bring in the Harry Kane. Or Jack Reese type players, yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I, I still think Liverpool. I still think City, Chelsea, and Liverpool in any order. I think those three. Uh, I think that'd be the top three. Man United are. There's still a few players off, like um, a CDM. They need a right mid and a centre back alongside Harry Maguire. So I think in that terms of like, look, they're they're going well on the early, but in terms of like challenging, like uh, I think injuries. If Liverpool didn't get injuries. We would have definitely either come second or first this year, um, and then obviously Chelsea since Tuchel came in was good, but the only and the only see the Aston Villa I know, but uh, <laughs> I love that. There was no, there was that no was favorite video you made. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I, I also said as we had said, but um, no, there's no consistent teams apart from really West Ham, Leicester City, and but like. For example, like everything were going well and the day I finished 10. Tottenham were going well, the day I finished what, 8 or 9 or whatever. Uh, Liverpool were going shocking and then we, we found a way to come third. And that just sums up the level this year because we weren't good enough to come third and yet we still came third, which I, I just, that just sums up the Premier League. What did you think of Alisson's goal? I, 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 I I still can't get into words how how that moment. Like I just, I still, it still gives me goosebumps every single time I watch it. I, I, I generally, I didn't, I knew well when Alison went up. I, I, I actually thought we'd either score or we concede. You know that kind of way because they yeah, were yeah. going on the counter back. But um, no, it was, it was a bull of a header. I know fair enough nobody's marked him and all that, but still, look, a goalkeeper scored the header and the header was top corner. He, like um. You couldn't write that in the script, especially 
um, since the father died and everything, he, yeah. he didn't have the great year. He had a few bad performances and all that, but um, when we need him most, he, he was there. That's what great goalkeepers do. When we need him most in the Champions League against Napoli, he saved us. We won the Champions League that year. He was the difference between us winning the Champions League and the year before when we had Kairos. Obviously, we lost it. That That's the difference. You need players like Allison in goals. You need defenders. Exactly. You need that leader, that that consistent, you know, well, and for being, you know, in midfield, yeah, exactly. Even when he was in the, the, the fence, Fab was right. wrong. He, he, he was great, Fab was great in fence, but we missed that presence in midfield. And I, I since Fab and Thiago and Gini were in midfield, you could see the results, you, you knew well the performance were getting back. Um, and the results, obviously, last 10 games, it. It wins two draws. The two draws came when Fab moved back from midfield to defence against Leeds United and against Newcastle. So that just sums it up. Really. Who's your favourite player for Liverpool? I have to go. I, I have a lot of fair players, uh, but I, I'd have to go. Rob was up there, but I'd have to go Virgil. You just see the presence. Yeah. I'll never get. Last time I went, I went to see Liverpool and Watford. Van Dijk scored two goals. It's just a present. Like people don't realize, it's not just the defend. His long balls, um, especially on a counter attack, he's so he's so important to our counter attack system. And um, you no, know, he's just so he's such a leader. Like he's so he's so important to the squad. Yeah, fun and so. What was your favorite Liverpool game to be at or watch? Of all time, what games I've ever watched or has been at yeah, all time. All time, I there are some good ones. Obviously, when we when when I tried when we bet Man United four one at Old Trafford, that was high. But um, and obviously when we bet Dortmund a few years ago in the, in the Champions League, that was or the Europa League, that was just a mad game because we we were never That's at the hard. highest level that year. But we obviously sat as uh, Coutinho sat well, Origi sat uh, Coutinho, and then and there then obviously uh, Saka and or uh, Mamadou. Uh, Sacco and uh, Lovren but in terms of obviously the best game I watched last year was Liverpool and Barcelona we did the impossible yeah. training against Barcelona Messi masterclass and then we didn't have um, no Mane or Salah we had Shaq Origi and Firmino and like you yeah. wouldn't write that in the script and we scored four goals and then our, our left back Andy Robertson gets injured and but the, the super comes on Gino and Adam scores twice um, who do you want to win the All Ireland hurling of football? In the football, like I'm, I, I'm going to be realistic here. I, I, Kildare aren't winning. In terms of Mayo, Kelly and Connor, obviously massive, yeah. massive, yeah. massive, massive blow. And I think they go, they go from contenders to, to just, uh, they're, they're not great. They're not great without Kelly and Connor. They need yeah. for me, Kelly and Connor, obviously one of the best. Uh, mm. but from, I, I. I I think Kerry will put up the Dublin this year. Do I see them winning it? Probably not, but they've been performing all year. And uh, if any, if Dublin are ever going to lose, I, I can either see Dublin if they win tonight, uh, if they win this year, I can see them go 10, 11. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think I think this year they could get stopped. Generally, yeah. do. Yeah. And in the Harlan, um, I I I expect I I I think Limerick will dominate for the next few years. They generally do. Yeah. They obviously won two all Ireland's I have that experience. They're very young. Um well, obviously Harlan's more co- competitive and there's a lot of two teams who are in with a shout. Yeah. Uh Nathan, go on. What is your drink to get on a night out? Um I I, I, I mix. If I'm in a pub watching a match, I'd usually go for like a Heineken. But if I'm on a, in if I'm in a nightclub or whatever. Sometimes I could drink whiskey, sometimes vodka. I, I really it depends really on the mm. night. You, I, I, I drink anything, but um, usually vodka or uh, whiskey. Oh, what's your favorite team to get out with a chipper? Um, I, I don't, I don't really know. Like, I, I, I get different things, but um, yeah, yeah. In terms of normal chippers, like um. Good question. Can't go wrong with a bag of sausage and chips or so. 
Mm. Something simple, but it does the job. Yeah, yeah. Yourself? Uh, a kebab, mainly. Yeah. Do you have any... Do you have a... Say that again, then? Do you have any pets? Yeah, I do. I've um, six dogs. Bonnie, um, Teddy, Oscar, Diva, Nala, and Ivor. Um, so two of them are pups. We had three pups, but we, we got rid of one, but we kept the other two. Um, then, yeah, so we have, we have six dogs at the moment, which is mental, but um, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, just trying to find the... What did you think of the tip match at the weekend in the football and hurling? Yeah, I I seen hurling, which I, I I didn't see the football match now, but um, yeah, it was it wasn't too bad, but I still think like obviously it's, it's a league game and all that, but um, I was sorry for the football terms. Obviously, last year getting to the semis, but obviously yeah. getting to, uh, relegated to Division Four, massive blow, but. Yeah. Look, temporary are a hurling county last year, like to get into the to win Munster, which obviously Cork beaten Kerry obviously helped in terms of like obviously yeah. you'd rather be playing Cork than, than Tip. And I felt when Killer by Cork, they're not they're not in special, but um, no, but it was ma- massive blow to them. But look, they, they did their county well last year, and look, I'm sure they'll get back up to Division Three next year. I think they'll be straight away, yeah. um. But in terms of like um, yeah. See, it's, for all Ireland, like uh, Tip and Kilkenny, there'll still be a shout up there. But I, I still think Limerick are better overall than anyone else. Yeah, go on then. Did you ever get the tour of Anfield? Yeah, I got the tour and it's over a match as well. Did you ever go up to Crow Park and get the tour there? Oh yeah, I, I, I got the tour twice when I was in fifth class and sixth class. But I never I never did it when like on a match I, I did it on a school trip like. Yeah. That's all my questions been answered. Nate and Joe Benny. Nathan's frozen there. <laughs> I Four more teams. Yeah, go on. Fire yeah, away. Yeah. Four more. Taking quickly. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Fire yeah, away. We can hear you now. Yeah. Hello, King. Yeah, well, we can hear you yeah, now. What did you think of the corner taking quickly? <laughs> Mad. It's like everything all around. Like just for the the corner bite to be so quick. To the well, the ball bite, not the corner bite. What I'm saying, the ball bite to be so quick to give the ball in an important game. When it's training in the Champions League semi final, um, Trent's thinking, but Origi as well, everyone switched off, and Origi was still focused on that ball. And, um, yeah, no, it's just it's something you wouldn't see many times. It was like, uh, but like, obviously, Trent was it in, Origi had his eye on the ball, and Barca switched off, and it was a goal. Uh, one of the, one of the biggest shot goals I've ever, like, obviously. Barcelona head dropped massively. You shouldn't be conceding that goal in the semi final when you're when you're still drawing the game. Fair enough, they're they're, they're training it up and they conceded three goals and all that. But you're in the Champions League semi final, and Barcelona never won it well, since 2014. You don't switch off like you, you. How how does a player like how how as a player in semi final the Champions League? How can player, people just drop off the year before the loss against Roma after being a few goals up as well? I, I just I, I, I still can't believe how easy it was for us to score that. Uh, yeah, he's frozen there. Yeah. yeah, are you there? Yeah, I am. Yeah, next question there, Nan. What is your favorite Liverpool jersey? Ooh, I'd have to go for. 2017 18 New Bands kit. I really, I really love New Bands. Um, I, I think they're so good. Like, obviously, we're with Nike. And I just think they're generic, generic kits. Like, the one this year, it's not too bad. I didn't like it at first, but 
I think it's better when you look at it and you, when on views the away one, I actually don't mind it. But um, in terms of new balance, it's obviously being a smaller company, the obviously time effort. Uh, there's no really other, other um goalkeeper. Uh, no, there's no other um kits like new bands like, and I just think um they're so underrated. 17, yeah. 18 and 18, 19 season jerseys were so good, so good. What was your favorite CBG goal? Oh, so many, so many. It has to be Olympia Argos, surely, to get us into the knockout, to get us just to survive the group stage, to get us into the knockouts, and obviously we won it. But um, the FA Cup goal was uh, against West Ham, was another shout. All mm. those Man United, uh, all those games against Man United were shouts. I remember the, the 13 40 or the, the 12 13 season against Man City, we were about 35 yeah. yards out and belted the ball in. Um, so many shoots from so many, but I'd have to go for Olympia Arcos. And what do you think of Phil Foden's new haircut? <laughs> um, it, it doesn't really look that bad. I think it's maybe because he has short hair, but I think I, I think it's a bold move. But um, like people all think of, of um, or um, oh, I can't think of his name. Uh, who's for England? Oh, um. Why well, can't I get his name? Uh, he played for them a few years ago. Played for Tottenham, you know. Oh, uh, what's his name? Uh, I don't know. Uh, who. Oh my god! Hey, uh, I can't get the name. I generally I don't know. I just wrote it. Um. <laughs> oh, that's really annoying me now. Uh, <laughs> but obviously he's um. But obviously a, a, a bold move, but he. He kind of suits. He has short hair and all, but it's a bit weird. But you'd either be known as um, Slim Shady or put it this way: I'd rather have no hair than have his hair. But <laughs> right now, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, ne- next question, there, Ned. I'm finished. All right. Uh, thanks for coming on, Kino. And, oh, no yeah. problem at all, lads. No problem. Uh, 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 yeah. I see you lads, mind yourselves. Yeah, mind yourselves. Yeah. yeah. Go on, my favorite TikTok. They're so funny on it. Thank you very, thank you very much, mate. Really means a lot. Oh, bye, bro. Right. having a bit of banter. I hope you get fired on it. Thank you, really means a lot, bud. All right, talk to, Kino, uh, talk to Kino. It's been a pleasure, lads. See you, lads. See yeah. ya.